Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Retroid. In the last episode we got ourselves the ice beam and the wave beam and some more little nit, nit nit things like missiles and energy tanks. No, it's only like one energy tank. Only a couple more to go and that's it. As I said I'd meet you guys here so let's get to it. Alright that's all the items in Nor Fair. There's only one last thing left to pull well, this part of Nor uh, Norfair. So there's only one last thing to do. Let's go take on the big man himself. Thank you. Alright, watch out for the dudes flying in here. We're doing really well, actually. Nice, not a single point of damage until I fall. Ah, thought I'd get hit. Anyways, we've got a mysterious elevator here that'll take us down into the newest area. Ridley. Now, since I'm playing an older version, there's going to be some missing lava in places, so don't harp on the game about that, because if I'm correct in a newer version, this was fixed. Alright, let's start by going right up this way, because we have, I think, a missile pack this way. Alright, this place isn't very nice. Yeah, there's supposed to be lava down there, but in my version, there isn't. If I'm right, it is in the newer versions, because I'm playing an older one. Or Ridley was at, I think, his worst. I'm not sure. All I know is it's in the newer version, the lava's there. And the enemies here ain't gonna take your crap, that's why I would have loved to have the screw attack. But no, we have to earn it. Anyways, with all our efforts, we get a missile pack. Trust me, they'll be far worse. Let's not waste any time. Alright, watch out for these bugs. As you can see, they take a couple hits, too. Who knows, it might be in your best interest to turn off the charge thing and just start mowing things down. I don't have time to experiment. You guys can tell me the results. Stupid sight hoppers. Thankfully, since these are exposed to us, we can just roll on past all this bullcrap. And just head through the missile door. Alright, you know the original Metro. Watch out, there's a hole in the floor. Thankfully, we can jump right over it. And get ourselves that energy tank. Delicious. Alright, any more side hopper baddies? Oh, screw you. I think we were supposed to actually just fall down, yeah. Now that we got that energy tank, I think left is just a dead end. Oh, well, just a longer way around, so let's ignore it. And just make our way this way. Come on. Thank you. And now we got a nice long narrow hallway here. So we can easily take those side hoppers out. Oh, these are Tuskegas, my bad. Tuskegas. Alright, here comes a slightly difficult jump. Let's hope we can make it. Yes. This is an item over this way. Alright, come on. There you go. More baddies afoot. Yeah, there's supposed to be lava down there, but because I'm playing an older version before he polished it a bit more. Yeah, no lava, so it's a slightly easier version. I don't know. I don't like it. Let's just go left. And head down and then head left. If anyone who's played the original, you know it's to the left. You know exactly what's to the left. Yeah, there, I've played the newer versions. There is lava down here. Because for some reason I'm too lazy to get the newer versions. No lava. So yeah, guys, don't give it a hard time because of the version I'm playing. This is just an older one. It has been fixed. Yeah, this game has been pretty faithful one-on-one -on -one, with little bits here and there that are a bit different. To make things feel fresh, at least. Alright guys, we got the hardest boss fight in Metroid history. I recommend using your missiles for this one. Hi Ridley, you hurt like hell in this hack, don't you? 
did not mean to do that. Try to hit him with all your missiles, though, because... It's the best way you're gonna be. Now, look how much that did! Yeah, I'm certainly playing an older version, because Ridley was a lot tougher in the older versions. Come on, you punk ass. I can beat you. I spanked you before. I'm gonna spank you again. If you hit him with all your missiles, you'll pretty much kill him. So just be careful and hit him with everything you got. Stop being an asshole. God, stripping away at my health like that? How dare you, punk. And that's it. He's dead. I got lucky and played my cards well. Because if you're reckless at all with him, look how much you took in such a short time. Good lord. Thankfully, just like any other good Ridley fight, for beating him, we get Energy Tank. Or might the last one in the game. Would have been a bit more useful early on, but whatever. We now have pretty much 100% of the game, except for, except for, I think, a missile pack or two that we missed. I said I think. Memory's a bit fuzzy. So yeah, if you can take the heart of Ridley, you cannot ignore the lava in this room, which can be a little helpful. Not that the lava does a whole lot. Yeah, that fight was much harder than I made it look. For those who aren't using save states, you could die a lot in that fight. So make sure you get the newest version where he's been tweaked. That doesn't make him any less harder. He's still pretty difficult. Alrighty, we're done here in Riddle Dog's lair. And since the lava's gone, we can just roll on through. Well, you could probably do that with the lava here and just save time and energy. I don't know, it just feels like it's quicker. Maybe not. Maybe I'm exaggerating things, Mom. Alright, I don't think there's anything down that way. I don't really care, honestly. I'm pretty much more than prepared for the final boss. Ouch, that's not the final boss, that's pain. Alright, let's head left really quick, just make a short detour because there's a missile pack this way that I know of. Nope. Pathways has a missile pack. Probably not, I guess I was imagining things. Let's just get the hell out of here. I guess we got every missile in the game. I thought I missed something, but I didn't. Which is good. I guess the maximum is 90 missiles in this pack. Too bad the real reward for beating Ridley is an absolute waste. Because of how late we get it. Now we're almost through. Lava or not, this room isn't that difficult to navigate. And that's it, let's get out of here, we're done. Kinda bums me out this new OBS doesn't have a pause function. you think by now they would've implemented a pause feature, but... Oh, everyone's too lazy to do that. Or maybe it's just that difficult. I don't know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know, I'm no video recording studio guy or whatever. Alright, now we're back in easier territory where things bow before our disgusting beam. Yeah, that Ridley isn't as bad as I probably put him out to be, though. I've been fighting him a whole bunch now. I've gotten used to him. Just a basic unleash all your missiles, don't get hit a bunch, and you'll be okay. I can feel bad for the people who love to low percent for some reason. Like, why would you ignore power? Seriously. In a video game, power is very sexy. Because it lets you do things a lot easier. It's less hassle, too. Now let's head on upward. Let's check our map. I think this is all. Yes, it is. Yeah, we gotta make a short detour, guys. Back into Greenland. Because the bubbles are green. See Greenland. Not to be mistaken with the actual country. Alrighty, let's get hurt. 
We make our way back to here. Yeah, you have to. I don't know how to regularly get through here. I just do a like a bunch of bomb jumping right around here because that's like a two-story drop. That's pro. That's probably a normal way you get out of this place. Which I. Oh yeah, right there it is. Huh. I'll remember that. You get out from right there, the right side of that, and it'll take a pathway up there to the right. I've been doing it the hard way the entire time. I don't get the point of that tube. It's kind of pointless since we've already transitioned, transitioned into this area. Alrighty, guys, it's time to claim the fruits of all our hard work. If I don't sound super excited, it's because I'm not. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice upgrade, but you need to defeat Ridley for this. All just to get this item right here, too, which could have been really useful early on, which is the screw attack. This can be mitigated if you fight Ridley first, but then you'll be in for a worse time. So, like I said, it's a waste. Just percentage at this point. Well, just like the original, it one shots everything, so at least you got that. Alrighty, let's move to the right. Get the hell out of here. We're done in this place. We're done everywhere, actually. Probably shouldn't have frozen. I could have just screw attacked them. And for those who are curious to how to get out of this area, I guess I can show you the true way now. I've been doing it wrong. Just bomb up there. You want to bomb right here. Bomb up this way. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. You want to go this way and to the right. And bop! There you go, you're out. Never thought of that, actually. I'd always been doing it the slower way. Whatever, I'm just good with bomb jumping, that's why. Bop! Ah, I love the screw attack, regardless of how useless it is at the end of the game. Yeah, my, this series has been about as long as a special on a TV show, like a little hour movie they do. Let's just, let's just get out of here. There it is. If I was a bit quicker, I could have probably beaten this in one hour. I've, well, under an hour. I've never done it. Actually, I think I have. I'm just going a bit slower because, you know, Let's Play. So like, I gotta explain certain things. There's not much to explain. You guys have seen my Super Metroid videos six million times. This one's no different in terms of controls, just tweaks. Anyways, we're done there in Norfair. There's only one more place to go. So let's get going. Why not? I might do a bonus episode or so. I just might end this in this one episode because, you know, there's no point in making one more video for, like, a five-minute thing. See, so, yeah, I'm just gonna try to end this now. So rejoice. You guys don't have to wait another day. Like I said, this would be really short. Yeah, all this into one delicious episode. Ain't you guys special? Aren't we special? Sadly, the timer on my recording device doesn't stop for doors, too. Oh well. We'll just have to deal with it. Just make our way up. Yeah, I like the screw attack, even if it's useless. Just look at that. We're right here at the end of the game. What use does it have besides getting us there? Not even my trick helps that much. Yeah, I don't care that I got hurt a little bit. Look at that. Just one little energy ball later and we're fine. Alrighty. Once you've defeated everything, a bridge will form. And you can go fight him. And I know, from what I know, there's no easy way to get no early trick in this game. Anyways, let's head down the elevator and let's go finish this out. We are now in Torian, the final area of the game. 
where everything can be ignored. But it's kind of hard to do that, honestly, even in this version. Our missiles are full, so I don't really need to fight anything. Yeah, these gold doors take 10 missiles. I'm gonna call them gold doors because they look gold. Ah, get a- oh, sh shiitake mushrooms. Now you have to die because I'm hurt. And since I'm playing an old version, uh, Mother Brain's a bit glitched. You'll see what I mean soon enough. This place isn't big at all. Yeah, as you can see, it would have been pointless just making a five minute video for this place. Oh, well, maybe ten minutes because the credits. Ah! That's no bueno, get off! Just trying to ignore you, do my job on Sebs. Freeze. Yeah, of course, I get hit. Pain is delicious. Yeah, you're gonna get hit a lot here, just like the original. Though he never did implement those turrets. What kind of turret, they were in Super Metroid. Why couldn't he do it here? Anyways, we're almost through. It's like one more room to go and that's it. Alright, he'll just keep heading down. Blast Metroids along the way. You bastard, that was too close. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it's open. Alright guys, last hallway. Told you it'd be really short. Oh there, Tonto. He almost tried to latch onto us. If I can avoid getting hit, I can fill out our missiles. I don't know why some of the Metroids are red. That's strange, isn't it? And that's it. And the, Met the Metroids, the lava's making funny sounds, because you're not supposed to have lava here. You're supposed to have, you know, acid, but this is the original. All right, don't worry, the zebratites in this are really easy to take out for some reason. Maybe they're easy in the original, I just never realized it. Just missile away at everything, everything must be killed. All right, here's Mother Brain, guys. He's, she's piss easy in this too. My best advice is just to let lo loads on her too. And by the way, she will die before you actually destroy all the glass, which is the glitch I'm talking about. To circumvent this, you could always... Ah, you... Turrets suck. Let's get rid of that and just try to destroy this glass, because I don't want to glitch things out. There we go. Now we can just get up next to her and do this. Yeah, there. She's dead. You only have one minute to escape, too. Ain't that some stuff. Let's get out of here. We have destroyed Mother Brain. Our mission is a success. Also, if you somehow fall during this, you're gonna pretty much die. I think. Whatever, you have a lot of time. Anyways, for some reason, there'll be a door here, and when you get up, you win. Just like the original. Anyways, unlike the original Metroid, faithfulness goes away right here because the whole planet goes shebang. So, what are you going to do about this cutscene? It's the only way to end the game. Well, the brain got sick of things, I guess. Whatever, guys. That little bit of unfaithfulness aside, there's no way around it. We have completed Retroid. The operation was completed successfully. Clear time? 59 minutes, baby. Under an hour. I am fast. Anyways, thank you all for watching. It was a lot of fun making this, too. For the graphics, I think it looks pretty good. The game looks great. Sound-wise, it's fine. Music-wise, I think it could have been better in some areas. The classic Zebs patch would have been fantastic, and using the original boss music would have been perfect if you couldn't use the Zebs, the classic Zebs patch. I don't know, I'm probably just nitpicking, but it's 
glaring enough to me to, you know, point out. Otherwise, besides those little bits of nitpicking, I think the game is pretty faithful and it's a lot of fun. So if you didn't enjoy the original too much, you can play the original via this remake, this Retroid, this Super Metroid hack. So yeah, if you didn't like one too much and this looks good enough for you, give it a shot. The newer versions make things a bit easier and add the lava in that area, so... That's why I didn't really harp on it, because you know, it's my fault for playing the earlier versions. And Ridley has been tweaked from what he said, so... You'll have an easier time in those. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I liked making this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What you guys thought of this Let's Play and this game itself. And I'll see you guys next Let's Play. Thank you for watching.